Hallelujah. Holy shit. Are you ready to get offended? Who thinks I should stop sway saying some curse words? Who would like to censor me today? What is up, everyone? Who is like the new setup here? We have redesigned the studios at Fortress of Hot Dude. Superman has the Fortress of Solitude. I have the Fortress of Hot Dude. Welcome, everybody, to another adventure of your favorite show in the entire world. Interview with a man. And you guys already know, guess what time it is. It is, oops, where's that? Right there. Ten days. 10 hours, 48 minutes, and 10 seconds, Body Language Mastery, quarter two enrollment is launching. It is unbelievable. It is going to be amazing. Let's see what that entails. The Body Language Mastery course from Modern Life Dating is coming out June 28th this month. This course is going to show you how to understand a female's body language on a date and give you the confidence to know what she is thinking and feeling just by observing her body. The course includes 40 gestures total, both positive and negative. This course will increase your closing rate by at least 10%. In addition to that, after you are signed up for the course, there will be two daily webinars for three weeks following the course for you to attend with all your questions about the course. Absolutely free, and that is a $1,000 value. And last, you will be added to a private men's-only group that will be supporting you as you educate yourself on this journey. There is limited enrollment. That's right. Enrollment will only be one time per business quarter, so you do not want to miss out. Body Language Mastery by Modern Life Dating is being released on June 28th. To learn more, go to Modern Life Dating forward slash body language. Sign up for the email waiting list and you'll automatically receive updates about the course and your chance to enroll. That's a one spicy meatball. Holy cow. It is going to be amazing. I am hyped, man. I am absolutely hyped. Dude, we are 11 days away technically. But, you know, I mean, well, technically actually 10 days, 10 hours, and 45 minutes away. But 11 days. Okay? 11 days. The 28th. June 28th, boys. It is happening. I'm excited. I've got people hitting me up. I was moderating Rolo's chat the other day, and I got people hitting me up in the chat saying, hey, my computer's messed up. I can't join the the email late waiting list. And they're like interrupting Rolo's chat in his uh, live stream where I was moderating. And they're like, hey, can I email you? And I was like, hey, Rolo, sorry. Is this cool? And he's like, yeah, man, just do it. It's no problem at all. And um, these guys are sending me their email addresses over the live chat to get them logged in. So if you want to get on the waiting list, which I've actually done the numbers, the waiting list is now at 85, 80, 80, like 85, 86-ish people. Um, and <laughs> I'm telling you, I think this thing is going to be – this is going to be insane. This is going to be a good one. Um, this is only quarter two, quarter three and quarter four. Good Lord. I might have to raise the price to a thousand dollars. Um, 
But if you want to get on the waiting list, go right here, modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. There are only five days to enroll, which is June 28th, June 29th, June 30th, July 1st, and July 2nd. Then click on this link right here. It will instantaneously transfer you to this page. You click right here. Put in your best email address for me to contact you, and the updates will start in a few hours via email. I am not an email guy who like blasts you with emails all the time. I'm not one of those people. I don't. I just don't. I don't have the patience or time for it. Um, but when I do send emails, it is always regarded to, you know, some giving out some solid value or letting you know what's going on with body language mastery. Guys, this is a course that is going to change your life because not only – I mean the, the the bread and butter, you could watch this course alone and be like, oh, my God. I had no idea that this many women were interested in me. And just to top it all off, I mean, you know, I'm coaching a guy right now who I met through Body Language Mastery. And, you know, he decided that, hey, you know what? I'm gonna do. The, he did every webinar. Okay, this is a this is a man who's 50 years old. He did every webinar, and then since then he's dropped 20 pounds. And he decided. We. I also do. Um. I used to work in the recruitment industry, so I'm very good at giving people uh career advice, interview advice, and strategic, um, strategic advice in regards to how to acquire. Uh, higher salaries and we've been working with everything with him and then yesterday we had our consultations uh his name is lou he's an awesome guy for you guys that know uh lou he's he overcome he he overcame alcoholism um he he's a proud member of the uh alcoholics anonymous and he's been sober like over 20 years or something but you know he is actually sitting on two um job offers right now big jump in salary one is 83,000 i think 80 83,000 a year and then another one is 94,000 and it's a jump from his 74,000 and he's got two offers and everything in his life is just going right and it all started with him you know just like i said taking action um and he just re-upped on his consultations last night so uh just like i said the the proof is in the pudding and the quality of my coaching is there. All you need to do, show up, shut up, and get ready to learn and get ready to listen. And your life will 100% be changed. Um, I'm just thrilled. I am just thrilled to, to do this again. Uh, I think it's going to be wild. I'll tell you that. It's, it's going to be a lot of work. Um, but yeah, June 28th, June 29th, June 30th, July 1st, July 2nd. We are 11 days away. 11 days away. And if you again, if you want to get the precise count, 10 days, 10 hours, 40 40 minutes and 57 seconds away. It is absolutely going to be crazy. I'm thrilled, man. It's going to be good. Cuz at the end of the day, I deliver. I deliver. I deliver. I make it happen. Good Lord. So many people are here already. Let's see who's in the chat today. Let's scroll up. Did some consultations yesterday. Did one consultation with uh, Lou. Did a consultation with Tony. Tony's a local engineer genius. I'm going to go after his professional engineer license. If you guys know what the PE license is, it's extremely hard to do, but that's his goal. Give him a little advice on fashion, dating. We talked about his sex life and, you know, just how to optimize everything. Give him a little give him, give him a little fashion, a little fashion crash course too. So it's awesome, man. Come, I'm, I'm telling you, man. There's some guys that do consultations with are awesome. And then John, um, John, you booked a consultation. I'm not sure if you're watching, but I'm gonna get to you, John. Um, uh, you're a new member to book a consultation, so it's gonna be our first time. Those are always fun. And uh, yeah, let's see who's in the chat today. Muhammad, what's up, my man? Always here, faithful attendee. Ben, what's up? Christian, what's up? Valix, what up? Valix, I hope your situation's getting better, man. I hope you're like getting a job and stuff. 
Edgar, what up? Eric Von Weedle, what up? M. Garcia, Charlie, and Charles, Charles in charge, random, but Drake is rapping Red Pill Truth now. I don't like Drake. Uh, Wiz Wolf, Conk, what's up? Leonardo Farias, I saw your comment the other day, Leonardo, thank you. Just came from the Cultivate Crypto stream, solid content. Hell yeah, I'm fucking rich, man. I told you fuckers that cryptocurrency, uh, the Bitcoin was to be taken off. I told you. I told you, dudes. And uh, we had a whole session of, of webinars in the Body Language Mastery Group. And only a few of the guys took action. And guess what's happening now? Bitcoin is about to cross $10,000. I was telling you guys to get in when it was 3000 You would have 3x your money by now. But no, no, no. Nobody want to listen. A few of you guys did. And they, those guys, that did, they, don't, they know that I'm the fucking man. And they, they got the money to prove it. So, uh, yeah, man, let me hold a crypto dollar. Good Lord. Things are going uh, things are going nowhere but up for everybody in here. So that's fucking great. Uh, masculine Mentality, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. Tony, what up, baby? Um, Vincent Vale, yo, yo. And um, let's see. M. Garcia. Charlie, what up, baby? Flowmaster, what's up? Lard, 909. Welcome. Oh, you're from Scotland as well. We had uh, Les who is in the audience. He's in Scotland as well. He joined Body Ma uh, Body Language Mastery uh, tier, uh, or excuse me, uh, quarter one. And that guy's great. He's an awesome guy. Jason, what's up, baby? I replied to your email on the air. I hope you got it um, for your con your consultation email you wanted. Tony says, I had a consultation with Emily yesterday, and I was immediately able to bench press 1,000 pounds and sleep with 200 women. But seriously, this guy knows his shit. I'm looking forward to future consultations. Thank you, Tony. And for all you guys in Body Language Mastery uh, Quarter 1, these webinars uh, for Quarter 2, if there's space available, you can get it. You can come watch them as well. Priority goes to the guys who, who are um, signing up for Quarter 2. But I'll send the, the Tier 1 email to the, the Quarter 2 guys. And then once we, because we're going to be using Zoom this time, so we can actually have up to 25 people in the in the webinars this time, which is going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome. Last time we were using Google Hangouts and 10 was the max. This time it's going to be 25. Oh, um, man, it is going to be, it's going to be awesome. But you guys, yeah, you can jump in um, on that one if there's space. And then... As it grows, you know, as the as we progress towards the end of the year, you have lifetime access to these webinars as well. Um, obviously, priorities are towards the guys who are new, but I mean, sometimes there's space. And now that we're up, we're going to be using Zoom. Um, you could get in there and do a lot more in regards to uh, volume of attendees. So it's going to be good stuff. Um, and let's see. Oh, what's up, Red Pill Mamba? What up, baby? Valix says, things are improving. I have a plan to start my own business in a year or two now. Good, good, good. Start it now. Um, I can't believe I can't be happy for the Toronto Raptors winking winning the championship because fuck Drake, yeah. Car Car Charlie says, we've been talking about this since 3.5k, baby. Irish Bateman, what up, MLD? Listening in during a solo road trip. Before you touch on the subject on the game of typical American males, I just got back. From a business trip in the states, and judging from the limited social activity I had, it seems that most American millennials try and no doubt fail with the friend game strategy. F hashtag forever in the friend zone. Oh, get ready to cringe today, guys. We are okay. So BK from the Rockies sent me some clips. We're gonna jump into it real quick here. I'm just gonna address the chat. Um, man, get ready to cringe. We are gonna see some of the most Oh, it's just pathetic. This, I, it's just the average male is just, oh, my God. Well, we'll talk about it. We're going to get into it here real soon. Uh, yeah, Jason, it's on a free consultation Friday last uh, two Fridays ago. Um, let's see. Tony says, Body Language Mastery has paid for itself by taking MLD and Charlie's Bitcoin advice. Listen to these guys and take action. Thank you, Tony. You're a great guy. Uh, Privateer Solutions says, hey, you finally got the soap going. Yeah, I, I have to put the links in the chat, but I 100% support Tactical Soap. They, they, they're definitely a good company. 
Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Tactical soap. Yeah, it does work. Sounds like a pitch for tactical soap. <laughs> um, Masculine Mentality says, Hey, Jonathan, I've been hit by a serious illness two weeks ago. So I've been watching in silence. I hope you're okay. Feel better. Please feel better, sir. We'll be back again next week. Awesome. All righty. All right, and just oh guys, by the way, um, so I've got a new setup here, obviously, and I have the blog talk radio, everything running through one computer. So I am taking uh, calls today. If you want to call me, give me a call six five seven three eight three one three one eight. Actually, I need to test this out, make sure it's a working. Make sure it's working. And by the way, please do be sure to follow me on Twitter at Modern Life John, J O N, where you can get a real behind the look, behind the scenes look at me, and you can see just the cancer that I, that, that comes out with me <laughs> being on fucking Twitter. Twitter brings out the worst of me. We get the worst of a lot of people, I believe. Um, yeah, just prepping for this whole launch is uh is just making me. I I've, I just slept and woke up at like nine thirty. My my biological clock is everywhere, so if I'm a little groggy or out of that, out of it, just uh, bear with me. Um, just bear with me. How does the audio sound with the mic here? Is this good? How are we doing? How we doing? Let's adjust that a little bit there. Getting used to the new setup. Do you guys like the new setup? Can I get a one in the chat if you like it? One in the chat. Okay. Now, I wonder why this is not working the way I want it to. Is that? Aha. That's the one. Okay. Okay. Um, shall we? So, our local man, BK from the Rockies, emailed me yesterday, and he emailed me a video, okay? He emailed me a video. Oh, awesome. The ones are flooding in. The audio is good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I feel the love. Can you feel the love tonight? Yes, I can. Thank you guys so much. Lard909 with the, with the high chat participation. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, guys. So, the audio is good. There's this random dual audio thing going on, though. Really? What do you mean dual audio thing? Oh, shit. could I say? What do you mean? Weird double audio thing. Dual audio. What is that? I don't I don't know. Cause I'm running. How about doing your next show from a Japanese bathhouse? They don't have Wi Fi in those. Can't hear dual audio here. Okay, it might be something with you, Christian. Is anybody else feeling all good on your side? Okay, it might be something with you, Christian. <laughs> Winston Wolf says he's probably listening on multiple devices because this show is so dope. Thank you, Winston Wolf. All right, cool. I, I just wanted to double check. All right. Thank you, guys. Awesome. You guys in the chat are awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we got we got right here. We have the um, lovely Judy and myself. These are some clips from the Body Language Mastery course. And um, we'll, we'll be doing some previews coming next week um, of the course itself. And, uh, yeah, you will be able to get some behind-the-scenes action with the new modules coming as well. So, let's jump right into it. 
Are you ready to cringe? Who's ready to cringe? Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. I'm awesome. Yes, you are, Eric. Yes, you are. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let the cringe begin. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm trying to think which one we should start with. There's two things here. Okay. So we're going to be talking about this uh, this show right here. Hello, good Are morning. you guys familiar with this one here? This is called Jubilee. 11 versus 1. Rating guys by looks and personality. Welcome. And, and then we have... 10 versus 1, rating girls by looks and personality, okay? Um, the virtue signaling is through the roof here. And it's just for a guy, <clears throat> for a guy who has red pill awareness, right? And for a guy that has body language expertise. And for a guy who's been on tons of dates. There's so much cringe going on in these videos, I just want to talk about today's subject, which is the sad state of American men and dating. The average guy truly has no idea what he is doing. The average guy is a supplicating, feminized little girl of a boy, and it's so cringe, okay? So... Let's just start with this one here, okay? We have a girl, okay? Actually, I don't know if we, should we start with the girl or the guy? Uh, let's 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 start with the guy first. Should I do that? Let me think. Mm, sorry, I'm a little foggy, guys. Like I said, I just woke up. My biological clock is everywhere. What would be the best approach? Fuck it. We'll just start. We'll start. We'll, we'll do the guy first. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We're going to do the guy first. This is the newer one, too. You can find it on their website or their YouTube, Jubilee, like the X-Men who can shoot fireworks out of her hands. Um, are we good here? Okay, cool. All right. So get. let's just watch the, the fucking cringe. This is the California cringe. Okay. First of all, notice how diverse the staff is, right? You got these two guys with the combined testosterone of seven. And then you got Aunt Jemima here in the middle, who is, you know, clearly their virtue signaling. She is overweight. Uh, I think she's not even overweight. This is obese. This is, uh, Clint this is medically obese. She's got the short feminist haircut. Looks like her hair is purple as well, I think. Is her hair purple? Yep. And, um, Oh, this this is annoying. This little Skype box doesn't disappear. Uh, Welcome, good humans. There's a okay. I think I'm just gonna have to do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this, just so I can clearly touch everything on the screen. Here we go. Let's watch this. Welcome, good humans. There's another episode of Versus One, and if you've ever wanted to be in a Jubilee episode, make sure you fill out the casting link below because we want in you video. in here. And I also just love Instagram stalking you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, it was just really stressful. During, I was like, oh, I feel like such a bad person. At this point, if I hear another guy rate a girl, I'm gonna like smack him upside the head and be like, no. Right off the bat, I wanna vomit. If I hear another guy rating a girl, I want to be like, I want to physically assault the guy and then say no. Listen here, Ginger Man, I will, I will fight you in the octagon, a hundred thousand percent. Okay, as I judge your whole family of female members on a scale of one to ten, giving them all ones for being related to you. Now. Let, let's look. Oh, let's listen to that one more time. So we got our our contestant here. Clearly a young guy, good looking guy, pretty jacked. Go to the gym. Um, you see, you he, he can tell right here he's very nervous. He's picking at his hand. See, you guys probably didn't catch that. He's picking at his hand. He has some anxiety going on here. He's nervous about everything. Um, and he he's clearly right off the bat virtue signaling to these people, like, oh, don't. 
Don't judge women. Don't judge women on a rating scale. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you see I, I, I on the regular, I judge women on a scale of 1 to 10. And that's okay. Okay? If we're not judged, we don't know where we stand. And if you don't know where you stand, you can't excel and move forward in life because you have no idea where you stand initially. Okay? There's a standard to life. If everybody, if you're an ugly, fat, pimple-faced person and everybody's telling you you're so good looking and handsome whatever are they really hurt, helping you or hurting you dude they're they are hurting you because the reality of life is you're not attractive and you should know where you stand so you can know where you need to improve all right so this guy just virtue signals and th this these people all live in los angeles so they're all full of shit like most people like 95 percent of the people in los angeles Everybody's virtue signaling. Everybody's trying to talk about how woke they are and everything. So let's 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 continue here. Oh, it was just really stressful. During, I was like, oh, I feel like such a bad person. At this point, if I hear another guy rate a girl, I'm gonna like smack him upside the head and be like, no, bad. Hands in the pockets, completely just terrified. Are you kidding me? If you're going to bring me a bunch of chicks to rate, I would be thrilled. I'd be like, let's bring on the mighty judgment from your personal Lord and Savior, Jonathan from MLD. I am ready to judge you, ladies, and set you on the righteous path of truth so you can know exactly where you stand. This poor kid is terrified. Hands in his pocket, you know, antsy. You'll see. Looks or personality? Personality. Cause look Liar. Right off the bat, this guy's lying. What's more important to you, looks or personality? Am I the only one that, that like, immediately notices that he's full of shit? That's the biggest thing for me. This is why I don't like people from Southern California because they're all full of shit. Okay, I, I and here's the thing. I'm huge on integrity. Okay, I respect a guy who will walk up to me, look me in the eye and be like, hey, Jonathan, I fucking hate you. I'll respect that guy a hundred thousand times more than some snake who will pretend to be my friend and pretend to like me. But actually doesn't like me. And that is true beta male behavior. It is being the fake nice guy it's being a snake right and it's also being uh the fake nice guy in real life as well when you have like a, a different agenda and that's what this guy is he's full of shit so any male come on he's saying what's more important to you looks or personality and right off the bat he's like oh god gotta say personality i know i know this trick or personality personality because looks go away i would say like 60 40 maybe 70, 30, maybe like between those two. Are you ready to meet these women? Yeah, totally. Here's the lineup. Now I feel threatened. <laughs> now I feel threatened. How, is the average guy, are you guys in the chats, this big pussies like this? Like, are you guys this afraid? I don't know. Everything about this guy makes me want to cringe. If I had a son like this, I would take him into the woods and beat him until he was a real man. <laughs> so starting on the woman furthest on the left, I want you to rate them by their physical attractiveness on a scale of 1 to 10. Go for it. Okay. Um, I really like her hair color, but I generally go for like more of a natural look. Six. She's a really good smile. Pretty hair. So... Like a eight, nine. He did see. I give her a solid seven. Come on now. Eight, nine. Come on now. Up them standards. I'm very nervous. I saw at one point he like took a deep breath. She also has great tits. I give them tits. I give those tits eight and a half. Oh. She's got really pretty eyes. Five, six. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's got really pretty eyes. Five, because she, you know, she's like, she, she, she's, uh, she's kind of, oh, she's overweight. She's also overweight too. It's funny how this is like, this girl is, you know, just like typical average girl for like a guy in, if you're living in Tokyo, but because she is amongst, you know, girls in America, being thin or in in shape actually, you know, artificially inflates her value. I like her glasses. Those are really cool. <laughs> wow, this is really hard. <laughs> good eyes, good eye contact. That girl's smile. sexy. I made really long eye contact with him. I don't like her smile too much, though. It's, like, good, but it's know. weird. I like, blacked out a little bit. Just not my type, personally. Four, five. I think I gravitate to somebody's little... This chick's shorter. fucking like Joanna Man. <laughs> Look at this. She's huge. She's ready. She's like a fucking wide receiver. <laughs> she's cute. She's got a good smile. Seven. I'm gonna say like six or seven. Five. Just again. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I shaved my head recently. People get a little intimidated, and I think that it's not for everybody. People get intimidated. No, sweetheart. People don't get intimidated. Men like a woman. With sh with long hair, you look like a dude. Okay, when I'm having sex with a girl, I want to run my fingers through her long and beautiful hair. I want to feel her hair all over my face when she's on top of me when we're making out. That's like what men like in women. I don't want to be like making out with you and you have like a dude's haircut. This is like weird. Ugh. I felt like. Kind of a misogynistic, terrible human being. Yeah. There we go. There's the keywords. I felt like a misogynistic, terrible human being. Guys, if you're if you act like this, just so you know, women they they don't they don't like look at you in a good way. They don't fucking respect you at all. They look at you and they're just like, "Come on, come on, stop being such a loser." Stop being such a loser. Are you joking me? I feel like a misogynist. Dude, get off the show. Get off the show. Just leave. Ugh. God, this guy makes me want to fucking vomit. It's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling watching you. So let's take a look at the scores across the board. Uh, 6, 8.5, 5.5. Five. This chick right here. This chick, man, bro. Let me. You know, I, I was watching this shit. <laughs> this girl. Uh, she. I call her fucking. I call her Thunderjaw. Look at the fucking. It's really hard. Look at the jaw on this beast. Where is it? I like her. Look at that. Fucking Jesus. Jay Leno has been got Jay Leno's got some mistresses. Look at that fucking jaw. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh my god. Kind of a misogynistic, terrible human being. You are a terrible human being. It's not being a good feeling. Because you're not a real man. Alright, so we got six, eight point five. Okay. This one I give her five. I give her seven. This girl gets a four. This girl gets a one because she has a huge jaw. This thing is my cup of tea right here. Minus her face, I don't like the way, she, like her teeth, the way she smiles. But other than that, we are, and her legs are a little, you can tell there's a little bit of excess body weight there. But she's got a nice flat stomach. Um, this one is probably, it would be, it would probably be a tie between these two for me. Um, obviously, no, no. Uh, I would give, I would give her a 7.5. This is a accurate score for me. Uh, this is not just not my thing. One, Joanna Man here. No, I'm not, Joanna Man gets a one, <laughs> and uh, this little little string bean here, she gets uh, yeah, six. Her six, and this chick just one because she's like a dude. Basically, it's pretty gross. Not my not my thing. I like shocker. I like women that have a feminine look to them. Call her me crazy. So 6.5, 6, 8.5, 5.5, 7.5, 4.5, 4.5, 7, 6.55, okay? Interesting. So 
So Andrew now has three minutes to speed date each girl and then rate their personalities without seeing them. Okay. It's like Christmas. Like a weird Christmas present. That was subjectifying my bad. Hi, girl number one. God, this guy is such a fucking pussy. I hate this guy. Look at her. First of all, she is built like Danny DeVito in Batman Returns. And, and, like the, she looks like the Penguin, right? Um, not not my cup of tea. This just shows you how good women are at like <clears throat> marketing themselves to look better than they is. She, I can clearly see she has like a a, a, a pot belly. She's wearing these high waisted pants because you could pull up these pants over your your stomach and kind of conceal your body weight. And she's got this fucking Crow Magnon man hunch that I'm really not a big fan of. Like, clearly she doesn't exercise due to the fat here and the poor posture here. Not my cup of tea at all. Uh, I don't value a woman who doesn't take care of herself. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not sorry. But here, here, here he is. He says it feels like Christmas. And he's like, oh, sorry. Oh, that was objectifying. Like, oh, my God, dude. And this guy will probably get some clout. He'll probably get some attention from being on this thing because that's 1.4 million views. Um. But he'll just he's just gonna get run through the ringer with girls for sure. Like a weird Christmas present. That was subjectifying my bad. Hi, girl number one. Hi. Um, can I get a real name? Yeah, my name's Angela. Hi, Angela. Andrew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Andrew. You know She's got a sexy voice, she's got a pretty face, and she got some big old nice lips. She, she you could that's like a fixer upper girlfriend. You get with her, you throw her on the treadmill, you, you tighten her diet up because clearly she doesn't have any good guidance in her life. She could be a hot woman for you. you, you she, this is like a fixer-upper girl, you know? This is, like a, this is like a low six, but you can tighten up that body in like six months and then, you know, she'll still have the low self-esteem from before and she'll be attached to you after six months. So that could be a, that could be a potential good one to lock down. I think it's always interesting just like even retrospectively to look back and see how people perceive you whenever they don't know you. You don't know how I perceive you yet though. Yeah, I know, but it'll be fun to watch the video, you know? I feel like there might be a, a little war for power <laughs> that would break out pretty quick. Probably a five. I have a couple of really close friends. We're probably going to Europe this summer. I'm Europe. really excited for it. Going to Europe this summer. Gonna get some European sausage on that vacation. <laughs> girls trip come on you guys know what that is girls trip let's be honest here you should be it's so amazing where are you gonna go we need to like figure out the details so you're spontaneous yes are you yeah very much so i love amazing. that eight i'd rate it an eight when was the last relationship you were in i've never really been in one so what about okay. you i could tell right off the bat this girl is pretty nice girl um she does not have the thousand cock stare I could tell she's actually a very feminine girl. And um, to be honest with you, I actually, I just, just based off of that alone, I could tell she seems like a, a sweet girl. Um, again, a little bit of a fixer upper just because, you know, you want to, she's not taking care of herself on a health standard. Definitely not as much as old fucking Beta, what is his name? Beta Ray Bill over here. <laughs> this guy is so beta, it's cringe. Um, but this is another girl who has got a decent personality that you, that's a good fixer upper girl. That would be a good girl that's a keeper. I could just tell right off the bat. So let's watch let's watch the one again. I won't interrupt this time. When was the last relationship you were in? I've never really been in one, so what about okay. you? About a year ago. Didn't feel like there was a, a spark as much. Yeah, of course this dude would, would be repelled by the probably one of the most feminine girls on the the lineup, to be honest. He's he's doing enough feminine virtue signaling himself. What would you describe the? Here's fucking Thunderjaw. <laughs> Thunderjaw. This chick can crack walnuts. No problem in that jaw. Look at this thing. She's built like a 1980s pro wrestler. Good lord. Color green to a blind person. I don't think I would because I don't think it at that point it matters. You know. It matters. It was. It's good. It's bad. It was like a six. I'm trembling like a leaf. <laughs> I'm like just now getting acclimated and kind of used to not having a mental breakdown. Baby girl. Uh, me likey. 
Let me see what is. Let me get this profile shot. Not bad. Not bad at all. She's a bit of a beast. She's pretty big. Um, like tall wise. Maybe got, maybe she might be Chinese or she looks Chinese. Um, definitely her hair is a little dry at the end. I don't like girls who don't take care of hair. She's got a lot of split ends here. Not really, not really my cup of tea. Um, but you know you could chop that off right there. Get some treatment going on. Not bad. Not bad at all. Breakdown. I, I think I am having a mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you're passionate about? Yeah, eventually I'd love to work with something with like humane societies or nature conservation. Wow, that's what I want to do, actually. It was a good one. It just felt comfortable. It's like 10.30 at night and you're just chilling on an open road. What's your song? It's this Christian song. It's called Reckless Love. So you're a Christian? Yes, I am. That's Are cool. You? Yeah, I grew up in the church. I like... Oh! She's a Christian. Guys, I give her a fucking... Perfect 10 due to my recent conversion back to Christianity. The Lord has saved my soul. And I'm I'm attracted to this woman now. I had to step back from it all and redo it all. I was the same way too. I grew up, you know, knowing God, but it took me having my own personal experience yeah. to understand him better and love him more. I like that one. That was like a that was a nine. Easy. She was like open and it was personal. I could tell she's actually a real sweet girl too. I could definitely tell. She has a good personality. Here comes fucking Joanna Man. You have a big family, small family? Um, I say like medium size. I'm the uh, well <laughs> Middle child. I have four siblings. Child. There was no real like excitement. Oh God, poor thing. I like to go thrifting. I love thrifting. And it's like a good way to spend my day without like spending a lot of money. Good Lord, I like to go thrifting. I don't like girls that like to fly, just go buy a bunch of shit and stock it in the house. That's a red flag right there, guys. You do not want a chick that's hoarding or who has shopping as her hobby. That's just not, no matter how cheap it is. The fact that she's taking shit from the outside world and stocking it in the house. No, 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 no. LA is the place to thrift. Everything felt really calming, so I would have given that one like eight and a half. You cook Indian food? I do. Oh. Yeah, I love to cook. A seven. She seems nice. I'm Dora. Dora? Nice to, yeah. Like Dora the Explorer? <laughs> yes. Or do you like to explore? I like traveling alone, honestly. Uh-oh. <laughs> like traveling alone, do ya? She got all the symptoms of a feminist and the uh, traveling alone. You know what that means, boys. When a girl likes to go travel alone, you know, she is a sausage connoisseur. A, a global sausage connoisseur. So do you like traveling? I like traveling alone. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like traveling alone, honestly. I do, too. Really? Yeah. Where's your accent from? I was born in London. So I thought... I visit and they think I'm really American, but then when I'm here, they think I'm like the most British ever. Solid nine, nine and a half. She American. And you can tell just here right off the bat. Look, you can see he look at his body. He's super nervous. This kid is nervous the whole time. It's fucking hilarious. I do too. Watch. Really? Yeah. Where's your accent from? I was born in London. So I thought. I visit and they. Okay, right here. So, I just want to bring it back. So, look, take a look at his hands and his feet. He's moving him. He's his feet are moving. He's rubbing his hands together. He's a very nervous kid. Yeah. Where's your accent from? I was born. Take a look in at London. It. So I thought. I visit and they think I'm really American, but then when I'm here, they think yeah. I'm like the most British ever. Solid nine, nine and a half. She was direct and like had a good energy, but it wasn't. It wasn't overwhelming, but it was. It was engaging. You only get to meet one girl. Either the girl that you rated the highest by looks. Or the highest by personality, who would it be? Oh, busted! Busted! Now remember, he said at the beginning, what are you going to choose? You want a girl with looks or personality? And in true Southern California scumbag nature, he said the answer that everybody supposed to say. Oh, you're supposed to say personality, right? Don't be real. Don't be, don't be authentic. But uh, let's see what he has to say. 
I would say the girl I rated by looks. I liked her energy <laughs> just from looking at her. Generally, it would be by. <laughs> I liked her energy, but I'm going to choose the one that was also the hottest. <laughs> and now he now watch this. He rationalizes it. He bullshits his way through the explanation, which is hilarious. Girl, I rated by looks. I liked her energy just from looking at her. Generally, it would be by personality, but for that specific case, I feel like that somebody would actually want to sit down and talk to you and get to know more, and I would want it to be longer than five minutes. <laughs> nervous laughter. Insert nervous laughter. I just hate people who are inauthentic and just all cringe. Nothing but cringe. Um, yeah, these these two are my winners too. I mean, this girl's. Whew, she's like, this girl, it's just, I don't know. She's got great teeth. It's just something about her. I don't like the gum smile she has, though. Um, she, her, She's okay, her, but something about her, her lower jaw I don't like as well, her, her lower half of her smile. But definitely would bang. So would bang. I, I'll give you a quick one down. Depending on how desperate I was or drunk at the time, I would bang her. So yes, definitely, no, hell no, yes, no. This is a dude. Yes, yes, no. Hi. Hi again. Hello. Hello. Did I rate her a nine or an eight? 8.5. 8.5. Yeah, I knew it was somewhere Okay. Around <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Do you want to know what he rated you based on personality? Yes. He rated you an eight. Oh, okay. Oh. That's not bad. I feel like it's kind of hard because it's like a five minute conversation. So. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Do you guys want to? Yeah, that'd be really yeah, great. Oh, thank God. Hello. Oh, thank God. Like, what a fucking pussy. Oh, my God. Am I... I just wonder, like, am I the one that's just ultra confident and have this shit sorted out? Like, is this the average representation of the average male? Because let me tell you something. It wasn't like this a couple years ago. Like, men actually had confidence and they didn't act like girls. Um, right off the bat, she has her hands crossed over her uh, pelvis. She is um, not. She's she's a little open because she has the the nape of her neck here is exposed, and she has a smile. It is authentic smile, um, but she is still a little uh, apprehensive about him. That's why she's got her hands in front of her genitals here. That's the body language right there. Whoa. <laughs> nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what happens now? I don't know. <laughs> Why were you attracted to Sophia? I liked your hair, your thanks. eyes, good style. Oh, really? Thanks. It's kind yeah. of hard. With it's this really hard. White with... T-shirt. Rating somebody on a number scale is kind of a insulting thing to do. Rating somebody on a number scale is an insulting thing to do. So what should we do? Should we just walk through life and be like, yeah, everybody is the same. Everybody's beautiful isn't our salary a rating isn't our body fat percentage a rating isn't our weight a rating you see this is like it just makes me sick when i hear people like just basically lying just lying every man and every woman they judge each other on looks based off if they want to have sex with you or not everybody does it okay I don't care what anybody says is absolutely 100% true. Every single human does it. A lot of people, they may actually take that number to heart and be like, oh, I am valued at a whatever. But you can't give a 1 to 10 number on all the intricacies and like great things about a human being. He chose you. How does mm -hmm. it feel? It feels pretty good. Makes me a little, it's like an ego boost, I guess. <laughs> Um, if he gives me a call first. <laughs> what did you think of when he was raising you off by looks? It was really uncomfortable. I didn't like, I didn't want to make eye contact because I didn't want to, I don't know, eye contact can be really intimidating, but it's also like a really vulnerable thing. Well, it that chick is definitely, I'll just, I could tell you from experience, this chick definitely likes to get down and she would be a good bang. I could tell you right off the bat. Girls, girls usually have a big, like a big mouth. I don't know. Something about them. They just love to get down. And, you know, it's all all the symptoms are there, you know. It's a little, it's a little chubby, you know. She likes to enjoy herself. Um, you know, chubbier people. When I've noticed girls that are a little bit chubbier, they have less impulse control. 
So they're usually open to doing little things that are a little bit more spontaneous in bed. Not a bad time. Intimidating, but it's also like a really vulnerable thing. Well, it was different because this time it was like happening right in front of your face. It kind of happens every day. You just don't know. Thunder jaw. I could tell he was a very like genuine person. Like he actually cared about uh, asking questions and getting to know me. And you know, the weird thing was after all this, I kind of was like hyping myself up. Whatever the number is, you're like worth more. So I guess that's a little empowerment. Can I just say as a girl, I really don't know how it would feel yeah. getting mm. rated on my looks. Uh, I'll, I'll just save you this. I'll just save you the suspense. One. <laughs> Very brave. Also, oh. I feel like my superpowers yeah. and my personality, so. so kudos. You, you gotta bank on your personality when you look like this, sweetheart. Come on. Just <laughs> to all of our cast, if you are interested in being in one of our videos as well. All right, so that is one clueless beta male dude. All right. That is one clueless dude getting, <clears throat> and he is fumbling his way through this entire thing good lord what a headache what a headache val gives her a negative one zach gives her a zero can we can we judge that girl in the middle give me give me a give me a number on, on, in the chat right now we got we got a negative one we got a zero we got a negative 10 <laughs> oh the chat is fired up what's up 75 people good lord <clears throat> Let's go back up. Jesus Christ, you guys are are fucking animals. I love it. Um, I can't even keep up with this shit. Let me check. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. <clears throat> all right. Uh, let's see. Look at the body positivity in the middle. Oh God. <laughs> Ajax, that is fucking hilarious, bro. Um, Ivor, what's up? Charlie says she is so body positive that she has her own gravitational field. <laughs> uh, that's funny. They will not survive the zombie apocalypse. Good. Body positive plus color. She looks like she has more public hair than the both of them combined. Oh, God. I think even pubic hair. <laughs> the first dude is a pussy. Yes. Ginger has no soul. Mr. White Knight. These guys give an inch of dick away for an inch of dick in a woman. Yeah, I'm going to sign up and rep for the real, the red pill real ones. Do it, Charles. They'll pick you. You're, you're a good-looking guy. They'll they'll bring you on that show. Go sign up. Be on the show. Super mangina's in the video, yes. I wonder how much frame this ginger has in life. Come on, you could tell that guy has zero frame. These guys probably watch George Bruno. <laughs> Femininity hates being uncomfortable. Truth is uncomfortable. Chicks don't respect pussyfied men. Very true. I guess he's forced to judge a fatty. He's looking like he looks like he's scared to be judged. Yes, it's pathetic. Women's personality changes as their looks decline. Uh, I used to be this simp, says you know UNESCO Lorenzo. What up, Vandy? What's up, bro? I'd be dropping more ones than you got about how your audio was. <laughs> that's funny girl i'm making out with at a house party i was making some compliments about her body and she asked me what about my personality i told her i'm not here to fuck your personality <laughs> oh funny that guy in the video needs his ass kicked <laughs> yeah he does muhammad says delicious tits right there yeah they are some great on that chick she had some great tits i gotta give them tits some grace uh, after a couple drinks, they will all look good. Oh, not not the fucking not the fucking shaved head chick at the end. No, that Asian in the middle, yes. And the two KRS and the KRS two is waiting after the Asian one. His voice alone makes me cringe. Yeah, that guy's super beta. Did I just I put it in scratch the Roly? Good lord. Um, yeah, intimidated does not equal repulsed. <laughs> Bull dyke on the end, exactly. People don't get intimidated. She's just horrendous looking. So cringe. Jeez, they didn't give him the top of the range. No offense to these chicks, did they? No. Pewter Schmidt, welcome. You're new here, bro. The short, shorter the hair 
is the less feminine she becomes. Yes. Intimidated. Yeah, I know, right? He reminds me of Red Pill Judas, says Donald J. What's up, Donald J? You're, you're new here. Damn, that 8.5 is his 8.5 because she's thin. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if I look like a bulldog, I'd say people were intimidated too. David B. In before he, he is called a racist for rating the black chicks the lowest. <laughs> Ivar, the boneless, is the guy needs to grow a set of balls. He does. I need to lock that kid in a cage with me and just whoop his ass. I'll make a man out of that little woman, uh, that little fucking wimp. I hate seeing guys that are like complete pussies like this. It just bothers me. He's weak as fuck. Pre whip this guy. Yep. Definitely wouldn't know what to do with a woman. <laughs> Charles with the with the caps, all caps G A Y. <laughs> the the second left looks the best. Yeah, th- she's pretty good. This beta, he's too nice. Uh Valak says that Thunderjaw is probably a dude. <laughs> Fucking Thunderjaw. Body language of the girls is terrible. He thinks he's he's being nice and fair to the girl that will land him more pussy. Nope. Girl, second from the less is the best to me. Yeah, a lot of people liked it. Her name was Sophie. They looked miserable. Yeah, second girl, highest SMV. Uh, those pants aren't working for her. She's like a cash flow statement. Flows in one part. <laughs> she got flower arms. Trial... Charles and the titty. Crow magnet, I'd screw her, says Eric. That's fucking hilarious. You guys are awesome. Oh, my God. This is so fun. Uh, cute, but can't lift her legs up, considering the amount of fat on her belly. Yep. What is virtue signaling? Always here. Like, virtue signaling means, like, they they, they say the, like, the answer you want to – that, that, like, everybody wants to hear. Like, the right answer. Like, so, like, if you say – if you ask me, like, what do you want? A girl – Who's really hot or girl with a great personality? I want the girl that's really hot. I don't want to deal with no uggo. All right? And at the same time, what virtue signaling is, is somebody would be like, oh, even if they know deep in their heart. Like homeboy, he in the beginning, he said he wants to choose off a personality. But then at the end, he ended up choosing on fucking looks. And he was he's lying. He's full of shit. So virtue signaling means like you are trying to say stuff. To show the world that like you're a good person, but it's just it's just inauthenticity, which which is also repulsive to women. What's good, MLD? Oh yeah, there you go, BK. Thanks, man. Thanks for this video, BK from the Rockies in the chat is the man. And guys, uh, 77 people watching live right now. Please click the like uh, the like button. We got 36 likes. Smash that like. We're gonna get uh, the other second half of this thing covered here in a little bit. Um, when the girl is judging. A bunch of guys and good lord the cringe the beta cringe from these guys is wait until you see this we're gonna break this one down okay um sophia would get it yes she would ho trip yep i'd screw her too eric you'd fuck anything huh guys who are watching on instagram real quick the feed is ending in two minutes come on over to modern life dating go to youtube.com type in modern life dating in the chat click on interview with the man episode 90 the sad state of American beta males in 2019, where we will continue to review everything. We got 81 people in the chat. Good lord, what an awesome time, man! You guys are fucking great. I am so so fucking thrilled to have all you guys in here. Thank you all for watching. Please click like. Let's continue with it. Let me catch up on these chats. I gotta pay attention as much as I can to the chats. You know, as much as I can, um, just because it's just it's gonna get to the point where I can't. Um, uh, fucking, I can't even keep up. I turned super chat back on because, uh, if you really need me to say something or you need me to catch, you need to catch my attention, uh, send a super chat. Um, or like, uh, also if, you know, if you want, if you find this message of value, you want to donate, remember the show is completely ran by guys like you click the link in the chat right there. Streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. You can send a donation. No donation is too small. Uh, everything helps me keep the lights on. And just continue to make red pill content like this. Uh, real quick, is this is this type of commentary to you guys? Are you learning stuff from this? If you're learning anything or this is valuable to you, can you please just put the number two in the chat? Send me a two in the chat just so I can see. You know, am I wasting time? Is this valuable to you guys? Because I really want to make sure you're getting some value. And uh, we're gonna cover the the second half of this show. With with the girl rating guys, that one's even more spicy. That one's really good, actually. Um, you're you're gonna want to check that one out here. 
Um, Valk says, with this guy's beta behavior, if he fixed her up, she'd probably up and monkey branch for sure. Bet, because he's weak as fuck. Yeah. I'm glad you guys could see it. Ashen Knees Cap. Can you give an example of women with a thousand cock stare? I never could figure that one out. It basically looks like they're just they're like an empty vessel. They're staring out into nothingness. Like you can look into her eye and be like, there's no soul here. You know? That is what I think. Uh the 7.5 has been rammed through. Oh, I can tell. That's funny. Yeah, possibly. Damn, bras, the savagery. <laughs> Talk about fitness couple. I'd spar with her all day. That chin can take it. <laughs> Fucking thunder jaw, man. That is a super duty jaw. Self-defeating statement from the guy. Yep. She could be in kiss. She would probably do Asian persuasion. Too many complaints in bed. Awesome body, though. He's rubbing his jaw, and he's talking to her. He can feel it already. I like him tall. I'm 6'3". You're a beast. I'd bang that. What a horrible way to live, always second-guessing yourself and punishing yourself. The crimson chin. Yeah. What up, Charles? Uh, tell us how to bitch fix, MLD. In the, in the webinars, I will. Two hottest bitches he gave highest. TY. Okay, thank you so far. Serena Williams. Oof. Holy shit, don't like that voice. Good lord, that voice, yeah. Oh shit, Princess Jasmine. Look at this ABG ho. What's ABG? <laughs> Asian Princess Jasmine. Mental illness. Jasmine is social through and through, yeah. At least he isn't hoarding expensive shit. A solid half flag. Nah, anybody who hoards is a red flag. Period, I don't like it. Dora the Dyke. Oh my god, you guys are fucking hilarious. Sinead O'Connor. Oh, Zibri X, what's up, man? She should travel to Somalia. Um, exactly, got her legs crossed and everything. Dora is DTF. I was going to ask, if she's a solo traveler, it's best to assume she's been through the hot dog factory? Yeah, of course. Not to count 44. Wait, so if she likes to travel alone, does that mean she's a slut? What does that mean for a girl who is never single? Does that make her more normal? Yeah. Yeah, come on, dude. Nine, get out of here. I chose the girl stuck in the closet, secret lesbo. <laughs> None of them are above a five. Jesus, idiot, shot himself in the foot. Choose the dyke, the one you deserve, beta man. <laughs> Tall Asian girls, both hot and submissive. Yeah. This guy's been pussyfied from birth. Yep. John Shore, what up, baby? John Shore with the every hole is a goal. Does Sophia have bolt-ons? Yeah, I was thinking they might be fake. They might be push-up bra, too. Those, t those tits were just a little too static for me, you know? They're just a little too hard. Unactive with the, rant with the random, Anthony Dick Johnson is a fraud. Yeah, he is. She is covering her pussy with her hands. Yes, exactly. Soy boy, even the most nervous wreck of a man knows. Hot personality. Cringe hug coming up. <laughs> it does represent all my coworkers and classmates. Uh, hands crossed over pelvis equals subconsciously bro blocking the vagina. Yes. Yes, Tony. He sounds so gay. says unactive. <laughs> what a liberal pussy. <laughs> She's on her phone immediately. Oh, God, I know. She's showing those titties, and she'll move up a number. Already texting Chad. Oh, so, okay, got a lot of twos in the chat. Okay, cool. So you guys are finding this of value. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, let me let me catch up. We're almost done here with the chat. Body positive. Rating the girl. Negative one, negative one, negative 50, negative five, one. Vegeta says negative 9,000. Unactive says that guy is a Democrat. <laughs> oh, my God. is so fucking funny. You guys are hilarious. I love how he became a hypocrite at the end. Of course, of course, he's a little weasel. This is how Anthony Johnson approaches girls. Uh, got head out. Have a good one, Modern Life Dating. Thanks, Valak. Take care, bro. Yeah, we're going an hour. I'm going to do the other half, though. This is a really good one. Sales pitch over. Let's get on with the show. Oh, you're so funny, Ricardo. Uh, do you have tips or advice on how to get an X back? Uh, no, because you shouldn't, you shouldn't try to get an X back. Move on. Um, damn, so many twos. Okay, great, 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 great. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just want to make sure that you guys are enjoying this. Good, good, good. It's hysterical. That's valuable to me. Thanks, David B. David B., I, you're my first time seeing you, but you're pretty funny yourself, bro. Reality is the best shit. Just here for the troll. <laughs> oh, my God. Scruffy Terry, what up? She looks like she got kicked, head kicked by Mirko Krokop and would still be conscious. I would never want to be headbutted by her. Oh, Lord. That's all Thunderjaw there. Okay. Not into Asian, but they were the best of the bunch. I'm totally into Asians. I think when MLD bends the mic wire to certain way, it amplifies the signal going to the computer for like one second. Interesting. Two. Okay. Christian, you're probably okay. All right. Cool. All right. Let's do it. Round two. All right. So round one was the beta male dude, uh, virtue signaling, like, oh, I, I should, I should fight somebody, you know, I should fight someone if they, I want to hit them if they judge a woman by a number scale. It's like, really, dude, just hit yourself in the face, okay? God, it's just terrible. Let's, let's, let's move on here. All right, here's our lovely hostess with the mostest body fat. Right here, Aunt Jemima. And then, and then these guys with the combined testosterone of seven. Wearing, the, wearing a fucking Sesame Street. I think this is the, maybe the Uniqlo Cause special shirt. Um, okay, let's get started. Get, who's ready to cringe? Get to cringe ready. Hello, good humans. This is a new episode of Versus One that we've never done. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit challenging, but we think it's going to be really interesting, and we want to discuss it with you guys afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so stick around to the end. We'll see you then. I'd give him a five, maybe. Um, why are they looking at me? <laughs> Just tell right off the bat, she's a little fat. Um, beautiful face, great teeth, hair, a little damaged, you know, you need a little Pantene Pro-V in your life, baby. You need to treat this hair. It's a little, it's dyed probably from all the bleaching and stuff she does that fucking f destroys your hair as a lady. Um, but let's see, Angela is Filipina. Let's see how things go for her. <laughs> really excited, but also really nervous. When you're talking to your friends, like about guys, do you ever rate them? Not with like a number, but we definitely like judge, I guess. Are you ready to rate some guys? You see that? Look at her. That that's very truthful right there. When you're talking to your friends about guys, do you rate them? She says, We don't rate them, but we definitely judge and she looks up to the right. Friends like about guys. Do you Watch. Rate them? Not with like a number, but we definitely like judge, I guess. Are you ready to rate some guys? Sure, sounds good. <laughs> Let's right, do it. Oh gosh. Oh, I can hear that. Oh my god. What did I do? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Angela. <laughs> nice to meet you. Guys? Yeah. Take a look at all the dudes here. Insecure. Insecure, 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 confident. These two dudes are confident right here. Insecure, insecure, and all, all, all fucking. This, this is uh, Yogi Obes over here. He's, he's all fucking. He's, he's mad confident. Um, hands behind the back. You know, that's more of a masculine pose. With your hands behind your back, like these three guys. And they also, they are the guys who uh, look pretty fit in regards to exercise. This guy's pretty good shape. This guy's in good shape, and he's in good shape. This guy's in good shape too, but he's acting like a pussy. He has these, uh, both of them have their hands in front of their uh, crotch, which symbolizes that they're nervous and afraid. <laughs> Play it loud. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I want you to rate him on a scale of 1 to 10 based on physical appearance. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, go with a 4 body type wise. He's just not someone I would approach. Basically, he's fat. 
<laughs> That's what she's saying. <laughs> the second guy, he's attractive, but he kind of is giving me like frat boy vibes. He looks like friendly, but also like tough, which I kind of like. <laughs> see that? He's got, look at, he's got the bad boy look. You see? This right arm here is covered in a sleeve of tattoos. Okay? He's got the gauge earrings. Good fashion, good haircut, a little edgy haircut. Doesn't have some kind of dorky haircut like fucking this guy. This guy's got a pretty dorky haircut. This guy's got a pretty dorky haircut too. Um, so no, that that's good. Good standings right there. And you can tell she gave him an eight. <laughs> Don't look at me. He's not necessarily my like exact type. It's a six, but he's this guy's super fat. You can see he has boobs under his shirt. And he, I don't know what this beanie and creep mustache and his glasses are. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he needs some help. The next guy, a four. He looks very approachable, but he's a little short. Next one, like a three, just because one of my pet peeves is you have to be taller than me. Fucking harsh. Jesus. Three. Old buddy. And the last, I'll, 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 we'll talk oh, about later. Smiled. I like his build. I feel like he takes care of himself. Oh, he looks like he'd be a fun time, I guess. Um, a four. And then the last guy, also a four. All right. Now take a look at how the woman judged these guys. Now the last dude, he could have been virtue signaling as well with his ratings. But the last guy, he gave the two black girls 4.5s each. Right? She gave this guy a 4, this guy a 4, this guy a 3, this guy a 4, and this guy a 4. Okay? Crazy delusion in my opinion but to just let you let you see you know and also there, there are to give her a little bit of a uh, wiggle room if you brought another girl these numbers would all be different you have to get yeah you know it's like marketing if you're if you're if you're pepsi and um you have you know <clears throat> you have uh a product just because somebody likes Coca-Cola more than you doesn't mean you have a bad product, right? But if you're shit water, then yeah, everybody's going to hate you. The point is, well, you have to like tailor your marketing towards the women that you want to attract, okay? That's why you got to change your look. You know, kind of things that are obvious is like, duh, you know, definitely the, the best currency you can have is a muscular body with a low amount of fat on it, right? In regards to the dating world. Second thing is good teeth. Um, good posture, good uh, skin care, grooming, hygiene, all that stuff. Those three things right there can bring your looks up to at least a seven. And, hey, if you're a guy that's a seven, you can have a decent sex life, okay? You could at least nail 50 girls in your lifetime, which is which is not bad. It's not bad at all. But look at these numbers. The average is definitely lower. Definitely lower than that dude. I did not like that. <laughs> But it was good. Now she has to speed date three minutes with each guy, just talking to them. <laughs> this is so awkward. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Julio. I'm Angela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just want to say, like, you're really pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, my cringe. So right off the bat, this guy's super feminine. I don't know if you noticed that. And the, he's also pretty fat. See, guys, the more fat you have on your body, the more your body produces estrogen. Okay? This guy's got – you can see here he's got visible rolls here. Okay? Um, this is not good, especially for a man this young. And he sits down immediately. What's the first thing he says? Oh, you're so pretty. Come on, really? Be a little bit more original. She's probably heard that her whole life. Is she pretty? Yes, she's a very pretty girl. She's got a very nice face, beautiful lips, um, great teeth. I love the cheekbones. Um, definitely would definitely bang. 
one hundred percent. I give her, I give her, I give her a soft seven, soft seven, six point five seven. It, it, for me, it's it's killing me in the boobs. I need some bigger boobs here and trim down the body fat a little bit. But soft seven, six six point five, six point seven five. I'll give her soft seven maximum. But yeah, let's let's okay. So I want you to analyze this guy's behavior again. Okay, so he sits down, super feminine with his gestures. And compliments her right off the bat. And then listen to what he says for the first date. Super, super cringe. <laughs> this is so awkward. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Julio. I'm Angela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just want to say, like, you're really pretty. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And have you ever been to um, Eden Canyon? No, I haven't been. If I ever do get the chance to take you out there, you know, and I see you smiling, I think that would be, like, the best part of the hike. On paper. If I see you smiling, that would be the best part of the hike. If I'm going on a date with a girl, the only thing that's going to make me happy is having sex with her. Am I the only one? Am I the only one with the balls to fucking admit that? Like, sure, yeah, hiking is great and eating ice cream is great. And seeing you smile is great. But I want some action. I'm here to fuck. I want to make out. I want to touch your boobs. I want to have sex. I don't want to go hiking and be like, oh, she smiled. I'm sexually satisfied. Ugh. These guys. This is your competition, guys. This is your competition. Okay? You get your looks down. You get your money down. You get your game tight. These are the dudes you have to beat. And this is why a lot of the girls in the United States are so jaded. Because they just meet armies and armies and armies of these dudes. So they just assume most guys are like that. Let's continue. Super, like, he sounded really cool. But I don't know. I feel like just that connection you look for, like, I didn't really feel that. What do you think you would rate that A four? It's vicious. Do you watch uh, Stranger Things? I honestly didn't really like it. That this guy is so ugly. His face bothers me. Much so. <laughs> Two. Today would be an arcade or bowling. Well, I like bowling. What's your favorite food? Probably Italian food. I love bread. She definitely likes this guy. I think she knows who he is too. You can tell by the uh, she she looks up into left and kind of is like, yeah, I like that. You know, you could, it's a very feminine gesture she gives there. Watch again. Bowling. Well, I like bowling. What's your favorite food? Probably. Wait, well, I like bowling. Hold on. A good date would be an arcade or bowl. She says, "What is your what is your ideal first date?" And he says, "Uh, bowling or going to an arcade." Do you watch uh, Stranger Things? Not I this guy. I didn't really like it that much. So. <laughs> this guy. A good date would be an arcade or bowling. Well, I like bowling. What's your favorite food? Probably Italian food. I love bread. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel myself like smiling the whole time and he like you hear that I could feel myself smiling the whole time you guys know body language mastery one students you know you know the levels of smiles and what that means to attraction and when they really like you they can't stop it and if they're super super like you you know they got you get the explosive laughter it's Brad. What's your credit score? I don't know. Is that bad? Yeah, I mean, you should know your credit score. Well, what's your credit score? Well, I'm not trying to flex, but it's like 720. How do I figure out my credit Oh, what a weirdo, that guy. And look, look, you could tell, like, like you could tell, look, she's so creeped out by this guy. And this guy's mad creepy. Like, what are you doing, dude? Who is advising you? Look at, first of all, look at them titties. All right. You definitely need to get on some keto or some carnivore. Get those, get those fat levels down, buddy. This too, this too fat. And then second of all, like Christ in Bethlehem, you asking this bitch her credit score? Like he's trying to one up her. He's he's trying to financially social status to, uh, signal to her. So here's let's watch it again. Score. I don't know. Is that bad? Yeah, I mean you should know your credit score. Well, what's your credit score? Well, I'm not trying to flex, but it's like 720. Look at that. Look at that. You see, that's a micro. You, you, you see, the average person wouldn't catch that. Look at the level. Look at the disgust in her face. Well, I'm not trying to flex, but it's like 720. How do like, ugh, man, like, get away from me. <laughs> how do I figure out my credit score. 
I take the MCAT in like a month, but it's eight hours long. Dang. Good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a six? I don't think I'm a bad person. Putting that out there. I'm like a okay person. Maybe good? <laughs> oh, self-deprecation makes me sick. That guy's got a good deep voice, nice beautiful head, full, uh, full head of hair. He's a little bit fat, that's the thing. Um, if he could just trim that down and get some confidence, that guy can clean up. That's the kind of guy that I would love to coach. Because that guy has good attitudes, good mentality. Um, definitely. But this whole self-deprecation, oh, maybe I'm not a good person, maybe I'm a bad person, whatever. That is just cringe, dude. Cringe. Good. Okay, person. Maybe good? <laughs> I guess it's trying not to laugh. What about Boba? Oh, yeah, I love Boba. Wait, where do you go? There's this place called Marugame on Sotel. That's pretty good, too. Yes, I actually was just there last oh, week. Oh, you went to Marugame? <laughs> I went there on Friday. It's so good. It's so good. It got me really excited to go on a really cool first date. Nine. Cool first date. I went... There's so, a place called Marugame on Sotel. That's pretty hold good, on. Too. Yes, I actually was just there last week. Oh, you went to Marugame? <laughs> I went there on Friday. It's so good. It's... This guy's got... This guy's, this guy's a pimp, Mero. This guy's got good haircut. He's got a nice accessories wearing the gold chain. Um, very fashionable top here. Nice jeans. Very well fit with the uh, with the rip look. And then the fashionable socks too. This kid's got his shit sorted out, man. I, I like this kid. Um, he's uh he's definitely got his his shit sorted. So good. It got me really excited to go on a really cool first date. I also really, really like to cook. I'm right? actually getting into cooking right now too. What's your like signature dish? I'm actually working with my mom on it, but uh, the other day we made a jambalaya. Oh, that was really, really good. That jambalaya sounds really good. I was born uh, in the Philippines. Basically, Wait, I was born up. there too. Oh, yeah. really? You're really Filipino? Good. That's cool. Yeah. We should make our parents proud and date. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. That ballsy move. But at least he has the balls to to to, to shoot a shot. I like that guy. Like we should make our parents proud and date. <laughs> never like dated like someone with my same culture proud and date <laughs> i was born uh in the philippines basically Wait, i was up. born there too yeah. oh really you really Filipino? that's cool yeah. we should make our parents proud and date <laughs> i've actually never like dated like someone with my same culture did you go to like coachella the last few weekends no i didn't i'm predicting that rihanna is gonna headline next year <laughs> Anybody sense that? This dude is is a fruit basket. This guy is super feminine. Look at this. He's like wiggling in his chair and he's like talking about Rihanna. Listen, no straight man cares about Rihanna other than like looking at her naked pictures and wanting to bang her. No, I didn't. I'm predicting that Rihanna is going to headline next year. <laughs> Ugh, cringe. I did aerospace engineering and math. That's oh. impressive. <laughs> That's our boy Yogi Obes. <laughs> it's not as crazy. I'm studying pre-med biology right now. Making Steph. your parents proud. <laughs> I feel like he was just really easy to talk to. So oh, okay. There's a guy who you rated highest by looks. Okay. And then there's a guy you rated highest by personality. Okay. If you get to choose one, which guy do you want? This is very nerve-wracking. Probably the personality guy. Cause I feel like if you look pretty, but I like, can't talk to you about anything, it's like, how is that gonna go? So there are some things I wanna say about this. Clearly, you see women are very socially aware of everything. So I wonder if she chose him because she knew that this would be on YouTube and be everywhere, so she wanted to do the right thing, or if she really liked him. Now I will say that this guy, he he was the probably he was probably the best talker out of all of them. Uh, this guy right here, uh, I think his name was Andrew. Andrew here was a really good talker. This guy's cringe. This guy's cringe. Uh, cool. This is the credit score weirdo. Uh, this guy's just like has the personality of a fucking wet cardboard box. Uh, this is Mr. I'm unsure of myself. Um, this guy's a little pimp, bro. This guy's got good good mouthpiece. This guy's talking about cooking jambalaya with his mom. Come on, bro. You don't talk about that on a fucking date. Uh, this is homeboy who said, let's just bang because we're, we're, we're both Filipinos. Uh, this is the, the Coachella gay dude. And then our Yogi Obes here just 
just got the poor end of the shit. He needs to throw more – to fix this guy up – okay, this is how I would fix this guy up. He needs to get an edgier haircut, and he needs to slap on uh, about 10 more pounds of muscle. He's got a good, nice, lean frame. He's got a good job. Um, clearly, you know, he's a fucking genius engineer. But we just need to clean it up. Like I would definitely – I would shave the sides of his head and kind of spike the hair or – or maybe do like a, a stylish comb over, but the hair is kind of it's too goofy. Uh, but this guy has potential as well. This guy would be a great student. I would I like to coach this guy. I would like to coach this guy. Um, this guy would be a lot of work. Uh, this guy would have potential, but he'd have to check his ego at the door um, and get rid of them titties. All right, I'm again. What's up? Nice What's to up? talk to you again. Nice to talk to you again, too. I just have a lot of fun getting to know you. I enjoy talking to you as well. So you just want to keep getting to know each other a little bit more? I mean, if you want to. Oh, for sure. <laughs> He's smooth. I like this guy. Like, you want to, you know, you want to continue to know each other? He's like, bitch, you trying to fuck? <laughs> sure. I mean, yeah. I've seen you, so it's probably more of a oh, yeah. surprise for you. But it, He's confident, too. I like this kid. <laughs> What's up? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> Appreciate you rating my personality pretty high. Yeah, no, definitely. We had a lot in common. And yeah, it no. made me really hungry. Is Brandon your type that you would see yourself dating? You know what? Usually, like, looks-wise, no. But, like, personality-wise, like, I rated you the highest. So, I'd be open to it, I guess. Cool. <laughs> a high five. High five, small hug. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was kind of awkward. That was so awkward. <laughs> Usually, when I pick people now, it's like, she said it was awkward, but it's like a lot of chicks in the States, they just don't know how to be comfortable with like their emotions and, and receiving love or receiving positive feedback. It's actually really fucking fucked up. Like at a social setting and it's definitely all by looks because I don't get to talk to all of them. It's definitely changed my perspective a little bit on like how Listen I- Listen to what she says. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. That was so awkward. Usually when I pick people now, it's like, at a social setting and it's definitely all by looks because I don't get to talk to all of them. It's definitely changed my perspective a little bit on like how I go about like dating, I guess. I appreciate her bringing out the person that has the highest personality because I think that you can grow to become physically attracted to them if you and if your personalities align very well. You want to know what she rated you by looks? Sure. She rated you a three because of your height. It's all good. I mean, I was standing next to some pretty tall dudes. I'm a sex symbol, so... Oh, dude, I'm not a sex symbol. <laughs> you the highest. Thank you. <laughs> I'm hoping she didn't like give me a zero. All right, thank goodness. Her personality, she raised you a nine. So you were yes. the highest. Cool. <laughs> Lowest and the highest. Oh, yeet. Wow. That's dope. I mean, we doubled right there. That's like. <laughs> I love I that guy. To see the video. If you had to choose between physical and emotional, I mean, you guys, <laughs> hey. You can make me laugh. Mm. That's the way in my heart. First, it's a lot about looks, but if they have a great personality, they become more attractive too. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. This one was a, uh, we were trying. This guy has like one drop of testosterone in his blood. Good Lord. All right. Let's go back to the fucking chat. Good Lord. Oh my God, guys. So, <clears throat> Yeah. Um. What can I say? And there's a okay. And then there's this video hey, here. What's up, guys? Oops. Let me just see something real quick. Okay. So there is a follow up video to this. I don't know if you guys want to watch. She she re she reacts to herself. Um. She reacts to herself watching the video. Uh, let me just go back up to the chat here. Man, you guys are loving this shit. The chat is on fire. <laughs> Charlie with the with the this is going to be good. Um, She's cute with bank, definitely. Callie's the emperor. She is fat. Fat back. Yeah, she's got a lot of fat on her back. Um... Oh, Christian, just you need you need to get into body language mastery or book a consultation with me, man. I can't help you with you, uh, you know, with your situation right now in the middle of the episode, but definitely. Eric Von Weddle says, uh, white knights are fucking morons. Yes, they are. 
She's going to rate soy boys. She's cute with bang. Yeah, definitely. Posture of Quasimodo. <laughs> oh, dear God. This is... Oh, what's up, Suede Center? I haven't seen you in a while. This is going to be hilarious. Is this the gay lineup? <laughs> Angela's a nice girl when she's sober, but with a little alcohol and some e-pills, she run through a whole battalion. Oh, my God. Blocking their vaginas. Yo, I gotta send you a follow-up video to this vid. More happened afterwards. Okay, we'll watch. I have it. I'll have it. We'll watch it. We'll watch it next. We're gonna do it next. Um, I wanna see. I wanna see that three be some sort of rich guy. Uh, three got a fourteen. That 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 three got a fourteen-inch long. The guy who got rated to three. I'm telling you, he's got he's got a little game. He's he's good fashion, good teeth. Good talking skills, knows how to like. He's being a little leader too. That guy's got some game. That guy's got some game. Reminds me of Rolo says eighty percent of men are unattractive to females. Females, yeah. You see, uh, they uh definitely um, she judged them way harder. She ra judged judged them way harder. Do not compliment right away. You give them way too much power. Yeah, so you guys know what's up. The guys start very badly. <laughs> Diabetes says unactive. Give Julio a burrito. Oh my god, she isn't pretty. She's a five. I yeah, I give her like a like a soft seven, like a six point five, six point seven five. I uh, just want to let you know, you're right off the bat. You're pretty average looking. <laughs> she's a five or six. Nothing special. Says clown world. Five point five. She's a four. Why does Julio give her free ego boost so bad? Because he's beta male. I just want to say you're super pretty equals friend zone. Why would James Bond do that? No. I want to punch that guy. Julio eats soy burgers. Oh, Charlie says can smell the desperation on him. Yep. Dude has a flamboyant voice. No, you're, you're spot on. John has a degree in Asians. I got a PhD in Asians, Pippin. Uh, the guy is soy himself. Man, dude number one is kissing up like a bitch. If I ever have a chance, geez, these guys would get wrecked in Australia. Uh, no spark because she no one knows how to fuck. Why does she now connection like connection? Because she's from fucking South California. That's the accent. Like oh my god, bleh. so they talk like I just want to know. Like maybe everything's gonna be okay. I'm from California. Oh my god, I hate Donald Trump. That's how they talk. Like that swing intonation. It's, it's annoying. He's definitely the alpha of the group. Even his voice is alpha. She has submissive. She's submissive to the tattoos guy. Confidently repulsed by the other. Yeah, exactly. She wants that D. This is education. Christ score. Credit score. Christ. Yeah. What? So cringe. <laughs> yeah. The dude said credit score. Yep, he did. Definite incel confirmed. <laughs> Glasses man has bigger tits than her. Oh my god. Unactive. You're hilarious, bro. Uh, he puts his confidence in the money. Yeah, he does. The disgust on her face. Yep. Fuck me, the credit score guy is a nerd. He's just going to die a virgin. That's Judas. We'll be free. What's up? You're new here. Welcome. That dude, that is the dude that would have a cloud of body odor at the magic tournament, I think. <laughs> magic the Gathering, the card game. I love it. Uh, he's trying to pull off the line cook in LA look. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. What's your Instagram so I can like all your pictures? Self-depreciation. How the fuck did that credit score guy get a six because he had he's flexing with the cash um flexing with the credit score try using weights fat ass <laughs> jason you're fucking hilarious dude these tinder sounds got me fucked up yeah i know right he has potential this guy's anecdote but short guys do seem to have really tight game because they know they're short they have to like fucking make it up make it happen that made her wet flamboyant ballsy moves props yeah Rihanna guy is gay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How diverse is this group? Virtue signaling at its finest. Yeah. How is this guy not gay? Fruitcake. Who cares about Rihanna? I'm cringing. That dude is gay. What the fuck? Is he gay? I think he's gay. What the fuck? Fuck's sake. I can't anymore. Ha ha ha. Very gay. Yogi's shoulders though. Of course he did. Hell yeah. Engineer. Dalsim. The black delegation needs a better representation. Yeah. No chads, no whites. No, there was a white dude, but he was just mad. There's two white. There's three white dudes. They're just terrible. Yogi Obe's a nervous wreck. Rihanna opener. Now I've seen everything. Rihanna guy is gay. My gaydar is beeping. Yeah, definitely. And he's going like, you know. Ajax says the little Asian dude is a pimp. Yeah, he is, man. Game trumps all. Yes. 
What's up, Mr. Superman Rocks? I felt sorry for the short guy because he did great during the talk blind date part, but she zeroed him out at the visual rating. Yeah. She would never have chosen Ty Tyrion Lannister if she knew his height. Guaranteed she tried to get with Andrew after the show was over. Probably. I can't believe he asked for her credit score. Is this really our competition? We got this, fellas. Yes. There it is. And, she, and at least he's taller than her. Wow. She already talking about food. Yep. What a bitch, but it's in her nature as a woman. Oh, my God. I knew she would choose him. Uh, hugging awkward. That video of RSD in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it, I did algorithm from YouTube. If you ain't handsome, you better have game. Yes. Uh, Trevor, I'm going to get to that. RSD clowning over the side panel. Little guy is smooth. The fat guy get, hates himself. Poor bastard. <laughs> I'm a sexy Zito. Oh, my God. He's delusional. You can grow to become physically attractive. No, she's going to going to bang Chad on the side. Little got that Vietnamese swag. Yeah, I know, right? He's, he's a little pimp, dude. Um, yeah, we're going to do – so then there's a follow-up video. How can I get over my leaving – me leaving – What? how can I get over my leaving me for someone who she viewed as better? I just feel like a weak pussy because you are acting like one. Especially since the guy's in the military. She probably left because he was more manly. And she was dating him while we were broken up the first time. Yeah, well, if you break up with a girl and you get back with her, it's not, right off the bat, it's a red flag. Um, good good advice, David B. Christian, work on yourself. Make muscles. Make money. Get game. Yes, sir. JM Burn, what up? Bitch is always choosing. There you go. All right. I've never seen this follow-up video, so I just saw it. But uh, let, let's just see what happens. Some of the guys in the chat are saying, let's check it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, here she is. So she's following up here. Hey, what's up, guys? This is a new type of video. We haven't done one of these before. It's a reaction video that we filmed here in the office. So let us know what you think and if you want to see more. Let us know what you thought. Always experimenting for you guys. Okay, bye-bye. Want to know what she rated you by looks? No, please say no. Please say no. No! It's all good. I you told him my rating? Hi, my name is Angela, and I was the one in rating 11 guys. Have you seen the video yet? No. I'm really nervous. I've been, like, nervous about this video for the whole, like, week. <laughs> I'd give him a five, maybe? A five? Um, why are they looking at me? Well, he knew what I said. I look like I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> uh, turn off when girls say. I'm so turned off when girls curse. That's nasty. Guys, can yeah. you put in your headphones and play it loud? Okay, I know one of them didn't have music playing, so that's all I have to say. I want you to rate him on a scale of one to ten based on physical appearance. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Go with a. Four, body type wise, he's just not I'm someone so I would mean. approach. <laughs> the second guy, he's attractive, but he kind of is giving me like frat boy vibes. He still gives me he frat looks, boy like, vibes. Friendly, but also like tough, which I kind of like. <laughs> he's not necessarily my like exact type. Oh. Next one, like a three, just because one of my pet oh, pieces no. you have to be taller than me. Four. And then the last guy, also a four. Well, everybody gets a four. It's fine. Hi, my name's Julio. I'm Angela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just want to say, like, you're really pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was so nice. Oh, that was so nice. Four. Four. Four is just my favorite number. Do you watch uh, <laughs> Stranger Things? I honestly didn't really like it that much, so this that was an awkward conversation. What's your credit uh, score? I don't know. Freaking Sean asking for my credit yeah, score. I mean, credit score. Well, what's your credit score? Well, I'm not trying to flex, but it's like 720. I figured out my credit score. Mine's not that much lower than his. I'll put that out there. What was it's, it? It's, it's a 710. That's good, right? That's he good. told me that was good. <laughs> okay. What about Boba? 
Oh, oh yeah, I he said Boba. Boba. Wait, there's this place called Marugame on Sateo that's pretty good. Yeah, Marugame? I was just I, really I'm remembering why he got the highest score now. I'm so hungry. Okay. There's a guy we rated highest by looks. Okay. And then there's a guy you rated highest by personality. Okay. Which guy do you want? Probably the personality guy. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous watching this. What's up? Nice What's to up? talk to you again. Nice to talk to you again, too. I just. You guys in the Body Language Mastery course. Look, you hear, listen to what she says and watch her gesture. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous watching this. What's up? You see? You guys see it. You see it, right? For you guys that got in quarter one, I'm nervous and look at her gesture. Told you so. I know what I'm talking about. Nice What's to up? talk to you again. Nice to talk to you again, too. I just have a lot of fun getting to know you. I enjoy talking to you as oh, well. Man. So you just want to keep. Getting to know each other a little bit more. I mean, if you want to. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you guys want to see each other face to face? <laughs> What's up? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I feel like he knew. Personality pretty high. I appreciate her bringing out the person that has the highest personality because I think Aww. that you can grow to become physically attracted to them if you and if your personalities align very well. Do you want to know what she rated you? No, please say no. Please say no. Sure. <laughs> You told him my rating. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was standing next to some pretty tall dudes. I'm a sex symbol, so. Sean, shut the fuck oh, up, dude. Sean. So I went out with Sean, and that's the reason why I like figured out what my credit score was. It's because I like felt like I had to know it before I went on the date. But a few of the guys were like DMing me. Sean was, I guess, like the most like confident and like very outgoing and I think I like that. So he asked me out for drinks. We went and got drinks. <laughs> yeah, it was a date. Uh, subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys next time. Very interesting. I think she fucked him too. Based off of that. Old Titty's got the date. Flexing with that money right off the bat. Hit her right in insecurities. What's your credit score, bitch? Very outgoing and I think I like that. So he asked me out for drinks. We went and got drinks. <laughs> yeah, it was a date. Uh, subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys next time. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Have you stayed in touch with any of the guys <laughs> in the video? Um, yeah, a little bit. Like Sean and um, Andrew. What about Brandon? Did you guys ever? No. He oh, that's funny. She got old fucking tattoos number. Andrew. What about Brandon? Did you guys ever? No, he didn't follow? say anything to me. He never like hit me up. So after that day, I was like so nervous that he like was I don't know hurt by it or something because he didn't say anything to me. If I asked you to call Brandon right now, <laughs> would you do it? Sure. I, well, I mean, why not? I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. What's up? Hey, this is Angela from the Jubilee video. Yeah, 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 what's up? <laughs> Nothing much. Just what a pimp. Yeah, 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 what up, bitch? What are you calling me for? Just wanted to see how you were doing. You never hit me up after. Man, I mean, I heard what I got on my physical rating, so, you know, I feel like you were looking for someone a little bit taller. You know, that's cool, too. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, we'd be better as friends. <laughs> You still, you still think I'm a three, though? You still think I'm a three? Okay, we're uh, not talking about that. I'm not saying that you were super harsh. Like, I, want you to, I wanted you to be honest, but at the same time, like, especially with shorter guys, a lot of that can be an insecurity because they can't necessarily control their height. And so, right. for me, I just use it as confidence. Like, obviously, um, mm. you know, I'm not really offended, but, you know, I guess if that... Poor guy. Yeah, he's definitely offended. <laughs> like, when you're honest, scores, then there's no reason. Like, I can't hate you for that or anything like that. You're entitled to your opinion. Yeah, I mean, I think it was definitely, like, an interesting position to be put in just because, like, in reality, it's not like I'm not going to talk to a guy who approaches me because they're short, but it's, like, when you're put in that setting and you're forced to, like, differentiate between 11 people, it's not like I can give all 11 people, like, the same number kind of thing. But everyone has, like, their own, I don't know, like, preferences. You just never say that to, like, the person's face. No, exactly. Yeah, but, it's a very interesting commentary, and... Would you still be down to go on a boba date? <laughs> I'm not down to go on a boba date. I'm not down to go on a boba date. Yeah, 
I'm all the way up in SF. <laughs> But I mean, if you're ever in the area, I'd love to hear everything going on. I'm coming up, like, next weekend. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds good. Well, hopefully I'll see you in, like, a week then. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Right, bye. bye. The kid, the guy is really, really confident, and he knows how to handle the conversation well. A um, little insecure about his height. He just needs to let go of that shit. If you're a short guy, you just need to fucking let go, bro. You're not growing. So just, just get over it and just start hitting on chicks. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. It's really not that big of a deal. It's a bigger deal in your fucking head. I feel a lot better now that I actually like talked to him because I don't think I would have if it wasn't for this. So yeah, I definitely feel a little more like, I guess like at peace. <laughs> Do you have any advice to guys who are trying to find the one? Make money, make muscles. Learn game and fuck a lot of hoes, and then you will find the one coming to you naturally. That is the politically incorrect dating advice that works, that people don't want to hear. Period. Um, don't ask for the credit score on the first date. Be yourself. Be confident. I think that's a big thing, too. Be confident and be yourself. Be yourself. More self-sabotaging advice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fatty. F I think she fucked fat boy. <laughs> because uh, she kind of like rolls her eyes when he pops up. And like kind of like, oh my god. Like I can't believe I fucked this fat motherfucker. Because he got game. Let me see. It's like, what is it? It's right here. I'd give him... <laughs> Have music playing, so that's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. Frat boy vibes. He still gives he me looks frat boy like vibes. Friendly, but also like tough, which I kind of like. <laughs> He's not necessarily my like exact type. You see, as soon as she says that, she sits up and moves back. Something happened. Definitely something happened. She went on a date with him. Act type. I think she's full of shit. I think she fucked him but he kind of is giving me like frat boy vibes. He still gives me frat boy like vibes. Friendly, but also like tough, which I kind of like. <laughs> He's not necessarily my like exact type. Oh. Next one. Oh, and she, like, and she type, cringes too. Like. She's like, oh fuck. I don't know, I think, I think she maybe banged him. <laughs> He's not necessarily my like exact type. Next one. She go. She backs. Up. Oh fuck! Like like she fucked up or something. I think she may have fucked old fat boy. Okay, let me check her reactions here. Credit yeah, score. I mean... Sometimes girls, they'll you'll short circuit them with game, and even though like you don't have the their ideal looks, they'll like after they'll kind of like rationalize like, oh, I I shouldn't have fucked this guy, even though. You know, if you have really good game, you lay it down. Then after, they kind of come to their senses. They're like, oh, shit, this motherfucker tricked me. He got me good. Caught me in my feelings. And they kind of rationalize that, that they shouldn't date you or maybe you wouldn't look good to their friends or something like that. Because he's kind of a fat motherfucker. But, yeah, let's, let's see. What's your credit uh, score? I don't know. Freaking Sean know. asking for my credit yeah, score. Yeah, I mean, your credit score. Well, what's your credit score? Well, I'm not trying to flex, but it's like 720. I figured out my credit score. Mine's not that much lower than his. I'll put that out there. What was it's, it? It's, it's a 710. That's good, right? That's he good. told me that was good. Okay. What about Boba? Oh, oh yeah. I he love said Boba. Boba. There's this place called Marugame on Sautel. That's pretty good. Yes. Marugame? I, I, really I'm remembering why he got the highest score. Sean, shut the fuck oh, up, dude. Sean. I'm a sex symbol. <laughs> So... Sean, shut the fuck ah, up, dude. Sean. So I went out with Sean, and that's the reason why I, like, figured out what my credit score was. It's because I, like, felt like I had to know it before I went on the date. But <laughs> a few of the guys were, like, DMing me. Sean was, I guess, like, the most, like, confident and, like, very outgoing, and I think I liked that. So he asked me out for drinks. We went and got drinks. <laughs> yeah, it was a date. Uh, subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys. Very interesting turn of events. I think she banged the fat boy. 
Let's see. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Just be yourself. Be yourself. What's the, there's your new there's your new uh there's your new pickup line boys where what's your credit score <laughs> the money flex um let's see let me read up read the chat up here oh joe what's up bro welcome man hope you're still watching uh da, 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 da. project les what up baby Bitches always be in the end. The, the dudes remain virgins. She's no prize. She thinks she is. Oh, in America, she is. When when you're walking in the sea of fucking land whales, good lord. Uh, yes, I never let women curse. This makes me want to leave her. She is a child. We're gonna see credit guy again, maybe. <laughs> Stranger Things game got worse reaction than credit score game. That guy was a real weirdo. Line bitch don't have no ten seven ten. <laughs> Give her some boba, some balls. Anxious. Wow, Solo TV 84 interview was legit. Yep, touching her neck. Yep. Credit score guy. That's funny. Credit score guy didn't give a fuck. He was very uh, confident. I will say that. I, I will say that. If he gets his... But he just looks like a weirdo, which just shows you girls are different from guys. Because looks do matter. But if you have rock solid game and you're like borderline arrogant and like... You have to be like a... There's a... There's a proper level of like confidence arrogance level that you want to be right in um that's like the sweet spot to to get a lot of positive uh feedback from women yeah brian bk from the rocky says yep the credit score dude came through will b says she gave him a bj <laughs> he gave her that credit score d the smile with the teeth showing is a dead giveaway thanks john y'all have to get into this body language mastery course fellas thank you jason i'm using credit score game today i'm on it Dude, I'm dying. Credit score get guy never lost frame. I called it. She gave him a six because he looked her dead in the eye and had his hands not closing off anything. She did fuck him. I think so. I think so. Yeah, credit score game. Might throw it out there. My man, the credit guy. <laughs> Sean playing the asshole game. Yeah, exactly. He's kind of talking down to her too. And also there's a race thing too. White, you know, he's white. She's Filipino. You know, that's like kind of like a, a hypergamy thing. Next round of the cock carousel. Put him on the classic. She definitely slept with Andrew. You think so? The short guy stiffed the goods and, sw and swerved out of that train wreck. Mr. 3 just friends on her. Yeah, I know. An MLD, another YouTuber, actually interviewed the credit score. Let's watch that next. You'd be very interested. Going to give you the link. Let me see. Welcome to. Oh, credit, credit score, man. Oh, it's 20 minutes though. I don't know if I could do it. Oh, but he's oh funny. Oh, he's a pimp. He's in the video with the with another girl. Um I'm glad I'm 53, not 23 anymore. Can't hate her for being honest. Hate her for being stupid. Darius Gray, what up? Can anyone give the same number? She gave everyone fours. I knew she wanted Andrew Chad, but of course, Chad and credit score money bags get to put his pussy. Boba date? No, bitch. Now she wants attention. I hope he banged her. He doesn't want her. I probably would have ghosted her too. She ended up fucking tattoo Chad. The credit score guy showed he had some standard asking for her credit score. In other words, he challenged her and triggered some attraction. Jason Will says, I'm a fucking midget. <laughs> you know you're not. Uh, wave some money in her face, but I got credit score game, bitch. Find the one. Kill me. Yeah, exactly. Be confident and be yourself. Ain't going to help if you're a loser. It's a true story. No such thing as the one. Very true. She definitely not the one. Interesting how the good looking guy and the money guy got her, no matter what she pretended to choose in the video. Yep. Just be, be yourself. Just friend reference. I say if I say be yourself if you're a hot dude. If you're a sinister dick inhaler, then do not be yourself. Yes, exactly. She said, don't ask your girl her credit score on the first date, but then she went out with him. Always pay attention to the woman's actions. Exactly right there. That's huge. My boy, the credit man. That's funny. This goes to show you when you challenge a woman and throw her off. I think this kid might have money. That might wouldn't be what it is. She plays a role. Her attraction needs to meet social status, but reality looks different. 
He brought her home with the credit excuse. Uh, pick him. Wouldn't want to challenge. Never lose a frame. Can, for you guys that watched the solo TV interview, what did he say? Can you give me – BK, can you give me a, a rundown or um, the other guy who sent me the link? Uh, I think your name was like uh, – you had an interesting icon. Where was it? It was a unique icon, like a red one. Trevor. Trevor Never. Can you tell me what did, what did, what did old, boy, old buddy say? Shit, I'll keep going. You guys want me to keep going? We can watch this interview. You want me to do it? I'll do it. Is it, is the guy who converted me to Christianity in here? <laughs> here we go. I'll do the review if the Christian man sends a donation right there. Streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel. Guy who converted me to Christianity or anybody. Just If you want me to do it, let me know. The way she said tattoos time says it was only sex. If you want me to keep going, hit me with donation. It's a 20-minute reaction video right here. Credit score, man. Live stream 14 hours ago. Here he is with, a, with another girl. And he's drinking a Modelo. And he's got a girl on camera with him. So he's he is actually pimping pretty hard. That's him. Follow me, pimps, at Hot Gatorade. Oh, let me find him. Hot Gatorade. Let's see what he's all about. Hot Gatorade. He's got 2,900 followers. He's got a SoundCloud. And his, his thing says Moby Dick Energy. <laughs> i see if I get this guy on the show. Let's see. You guys make me feel better about myself. It's very interesting. Let's 90 see. seconds. Oh, Walk Talk Radio is running out. Oh, I got a caller on the line. Let's see if this works. Hey, caller, you on there? What's good, brother? BK from the Rockies. Hey, what's up, man? Um, how you doing, bro? I, I don't know. I hope these guys can hear you. Can you guys hear BK? Let's see. Uh, thanks for calling in, dude. This is a great video. I appreciate your email. Um, I let me just. Oh hell yeah! Let me, Sixty seconds. Let me just double check here. Make sure that everybody can hear you. Um, can you guys? Can you guys hear? Yo, guys, in the chat. What's up, chat? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm running it first time through this uh, this this new computer setup, so I just want to make sure it's working. Let's see. Come on, guys. 85 of you. Let's – okay, they can hear you. Okay, perfect. All right, BK, you're Somebody. good to go. All right, so what's up, man? Word. So, like, so the first video I sent you was that one with the, the redhead dude with the little bitch. Yes. Had all these chicks that he could holler at and pick anything he wanted, but – Going back to the other one, I saw the Solo TV 84 one before I saw the old girl Angela holler at the dudes. Uh -huh. And I'm sitting there looking at it. This dude just chill, laid back, confident. He was, like, oh, yeah, yeah. he was like, man, this is all nonsense. He was like, y'all, you got to understand. She said something about the dude being short. And the first thing he called, one of the first things he calls out, he was like, yo, I'm six one. Like everyone in there is around six foot or taller. So saying the dude was short, she, he was just like, yeah, that was kind of nonsense. <laughs> oh, wait. That dude was And so I'm sitting there the whole time. Huh? Who was 6'1? Um, the uh, what's the name? Beanie dude, credit score dude. He oh. was saying that he was like 6'1. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, wow. There's a lot of time right. so, in there. Yeah, and so like she was saying that old homeboy was short. I was like, all right, if homeboy is 6'1, that means that other dude's probably like 5'10. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, she's just kind of exaggerating. So basically, she just went into homeboy. But nah, that interview was actually kind of cool because like Solo just talked to him. Of course, he got a chick right there by his side. Yeah. And I'm just like, yo, homeboy's legit. He really did call out on on like the credit score. He was like, you got to be different. You know, everyone's going to talk about the same mess over and over again. So he said, I just thought of something on the fly. And the next thing you know, he's like, they're saying he went on a date with us. I was like, yo, for real? Yeah. You, you, <laughs> but that, think, but seriously, you saw like the body language. <laughs> yeah, I think she fucked him. I think she fucked him now that look at that, looking at the follow-up. 
Did you? Did he mention? You know what? Me too, because I never saw that video. Did Did he mention? Uh, did he mention that he did he did he like say, oh, you know, I banged her or whatever, or did he at all in that interview or no? Nah, I didn't. I mean, he really. I think he was kind of trying to doctor up because he had a chick right there beside him, and he was like, well, yeah, it's just one of the girls I talked to or something like that. And I was like, uh, bro, I think he's really trying to. He's he was trying to be very cautious of his words. Uh-huh. Which I don't blame him. I mean, he got run right there. But yeah. the reality was, when you showed that follow up video, you could just see the way that she started immediately when his picture came up, like yeah. her reaction and everything. I was yes. like, oh, something did happen. Because yeah. at first, I didn't know the solo TV eighty four. I didn't know the interview was legit. But when I saw that, I was like, oh, it was. Man, I gotta see. So I- shout out to shout out to this credit score dude. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Friggin' hilarious, man. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna DM this guy and see if I could get him on the show. Um, appreciate this, uh, Bruh, that'd be tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hit him up. Right. I'm just, I just hit him up on Instagram. So, um, I'll try to get homeboy on the, on the fucking show here. I think that would be hilarious. Dude. Thank you so much, man. And thank you. I remember you donated like 25 bucks a while back. I appreciate you always popping in and supporting the show. I appreciate that a lot, man. For real. Hell yeah. You gotta, gotta support the great content, bro. Keep thank on you. doing what you do. Gentlemen, enjoy the show. All right, brother. Have a good day, Brian. See ya. Mm, later. That's our man, BK from the Rockies. Yes, and I'm so happy this this new setup works perfectly. That is awesome. Um, yeah, man. Fucking wonderful, dude. Wow. Fucking old boy. Old buddy, old boy. I think she banged him. I think she banged him for sure. Um, It just seemed like in her body language, or maybe she did something with him, and then she's like, I got, you know. What do you guys say? Do we do we keep uh do we keep going? Do you want to review the the interview? Oh, he just hit me up. Uh, funny. Um, okay, maybe I could get this guy. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna do it today. We've been going for two hours. Uh, thank you all for tuning in today. Please click the like button. And um, yeah, let's let's just uh, let's just continue on. Um, again, just so you know, one more time, you know, the body language mastery course is coming up. So June twenty eighth, baby, June 29th. Let me let me actually you know, let me ask homeboy. Let me ask him. Uh, dating show for men. Did you smash with Angela? <laughs> Angela, we think yes. <laughs> oh, credit score game. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he's responding to me right now. This is pretty cool. He's replying. Let's see. Get credit score guy before Red Pill Judas gets hands on him. He's, he's the next speaker at the 21 convention. I'm just sending, I'm shooting him a video message. Hey, dude, we're live on the air right now. We got us got like 70 people live watching us, and we are just wondering, did you do it? We got we got a bet going on in the chat. A lot of guys think you did. Rock solid game, I got to say. Air right now. Get- ah! <laughs> he said he did. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my god. Oh, he did. Oh, that is hilarious. He did. Homeboy did it. Can I show it? Let me show the the uh let me see. Type it. Man, I I, I got to I would have to fire up the fucking phone lines again. Let me see if I I'll call him. I'll call him right now. He did it. Wow. Good for him. Let's see if he picks up. (laughs) 
<laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. RIP headphone users. My bad, dudes. Oh, it, it, oh my god. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, yeah, I'll show you. Let me just see. Let me see if I can show you. this is okay. So I said, I said, I said, yo, yo, yo. He says, sup, man. I said, dude, you gotta come on a show. What's your show? Dating show for men. I said, did you smash with Angela? We think yes. LOL. And I had said credit score game. He said, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, boy. What's your YouTube? And then I said, I can't video chat right now. He's like, word, hit me up to my. Can you? Can we see that? Is that a live? That's him right there. Hilarious. 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 Let's get credit score guy on here. We'll get, we'll get credit score onto the fucking show. Fuck it. What? hilariousness dude i knew it i fucking knew it i saw it in her body language god damn it i am a body language master i am the fuck mm, the fucking man guys if that wasn't proof i don't know what the fuck is if i if that was not proof i don't know if that if you're not convinced just fucking unsubscribe and get away from me just get away from this channel because i there's no help in you um unbelievable so yeah guys for you guys that want to get into body language training like i said boom modernlifedating.com forward slash body language click on this link right here live and verified by yours truly baby <laughs> quarter two registration uh registration starts june 28th june 29th june 30th july 1st july 2nd okay unbelievable it's gonna be great if you want to read body language like me and start your own YouTube channel, <laughs> and I got you. Um, what a, what an awesome show, dude. Brian BK from the Rockies, thank you so much, dude. We we're gonna ha I'm gonna have Credit Score Man on. I am going to have Credit Score Man on the show. Um, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna I'm gonna close him and try to get him on the show tomorrow. Um, might have to change the times or whatever because he's in, he's in California, so the times are a little different for him. But yeah, if you guys like this show, you found this message of value, go ahead and please click on that link right there, streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel. Send a donation if you enjoyed it today. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just continue making awesome content like this. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much. I will catch you on the show tomorrow. What a long show, two hours. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, until then, I will see you next time. Peace.